Hi, and welcome to another anatomy painting video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the biceps brachii, the muscle on the front of your upper arm. The bicep has two heads, uh, just like the bicep in your leg does. So the term bicep means bi, meaning two, and seps, meaning heads. So there are two heads to the biceps muscle. The brachii portion of the name refers to the upper arm. So you'll notice that most of the things that run down the other upper arm have brachii or brachial in the name. We have the brachialis, which is another muscle that attaches onto the upper arm, and the brachial plexus, which is the plexus of nerves that emanates out of the, sp uh, out of the cervical spine and down the upper arm. The short head of the biceps brachii uh, originates on the coracoid process, which is a bony bump that emanates from the scapula. The long head of the biceps brachii actually uh, originates on the labrum itself. The labrum is part of your shoulder socket. So the bicep is an example of a biarticulate muscle. This means that it crosses two articulations or two joints. It crosses the elbow and also the shoulder. So many of us are aware that the bicep creates elbow flexion, such as in a bicep curl. But a lesser known fact is that it plays quite a large role in shoulder stability as well, because it crosses the shoulder. The long head of the bicep runs through a little groove in the humerus called the bicipital groove. Um, the biceps brachii inserts on the radius. Uh, it's important to remember because when we pronate or supinate our forearm, the radius actually rolls and flicks over the ulna. Uh, therefore, the bicep inserting onto the radius means it can actually play a role in supination. Uh, so the bicep actually creates three distinct muscle actions. Shoulder flexion, elbow flexion, and supination of the forearm. And now we're just finishing some of the detailing. We're going to show the full uh, showcase of the biceps brachii. So you can see its fiber orientation there and where it splits into its two heads, the long head and the short head. In a moment, we're going to show you the movements. So we have flexion at the shoulder. See our model is taking her arm all the way overhead there and also supination. So first our model goes into pronation and then the bicep will create supination as well as flexion of the elbow. We hope that you have found this video useful and thanks for watching.